Thank you, Justin. Now back in Kitwe, government has secured 200 million United States dollars loan to rehabilitate the whole water reticulation system in the district. Kitwe Mayor Christopher Kangombe says China Henan has already been granted the contract and works will start soon. Water blues are common on the copper belt. With the increase in population, water utility companies have not been able to keep up. Nkana Water and Storage Company in Kitwe has had its difficulties ensuring water supply to the over 500,000 residents. Just recently, supply to the western part of the city was cut after two water pipes were damaged by a South African truck which overturned. This forced the utility company to tap into its reserves and supply water using its bowsers. In some areas, residents receive water for a few hours in a day. Because in Misesh we've had this problem for a long, long time. We only have water twice a day. That is in the morning and in the evening. So I would like Nkana Water and Sewerage to look into this problem. If we can have water the whole day. Because if you go to other areas like Chimwemwe, Buchi, Nkana East, water does not go. It flows throughout the day. To mitigate these challenges, Government has secured a 200 million United States dollars loan to overhaul the water education system in the city. The project will be implemented by China Henan on behalf of Nkana Water and Storage Company. It's an exciting project because uh, within the next uh, uh, few years, I'm sure uh, Kitwe will not have the current challenges of water. So we want to assure our people that we are fulfilling our promise as government. Uh, we are taking the steps to, to find money. Because you see, money for development will not just be sourced locally. However, the works will not start immediately. The environmental impact assessment for the project is yet to be approved by the Zambia Environmental Management Agency. So we are basically guaranteeing the loan as government. And the value is $200 million. Uh, we are now at a stage where the environmental impact assessment is being prepared. Once the EIA is ready, then the contractor can quickly access that $200 million. This will be phase two of the overhaul of the water reticulation system. A year ago, a similar project was undertaken by Nkana Water and Storage Company using funds from the Africa Development Bank. Paul Sharala, ZMPC News in Kitwe. That's what a project's being carried out. Um, plans. I think the 200 